The Subsidy Reinvestment and Empowerment Program, SHOP, provided a platform for both skilled and unskilled Nigerians to realize their dreams. Through the SHOP program, people with little or no skills were given the opportunity to gain employment and experience, just as professionals used the platform to gain more expertise. The subsidy reinvestment and empowerment program, that was known as the SHOP, was a very noble idea in governance. I was, a, I was a member of the board of Shopee, being a major infrastructure minister. And Shopee not only helped to promote projects across the country, infrastructure projects at that, that I know many of our key arterial roads were being funded from Shopee. And of course, other areas of endeavor, like health setup where you have a maternal and a child program under the Shopee, you have the skill acquisition program for Nigerians under the shop here, which enable Nigeria to earn a decent living. Then, of course, in the rest sector, Shopee was also helping to fund rate development program. And for us, especially in the road sector, we had about 334 ongoing road projects at the time, covering a total distance of about 13,000 kilometers. And the yearly budget, which averaged about between 80 to 100 billion naira, was not enough to fund these projects. And some of these projects are well known by Nigerians who traverse the length and breadth of this country. And some of them are there. In the southwest, we have the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. In the south side, we have the Bini Ore Shagamwe Expressway. In the north, we have the Abuja Lokoja Bini Expressway. We have the Kano Mendigori Expressway. We have the Odincha, Oka, Enungu, Aba, Potakot Expressway. We have the Wari, Potakot Expressway, and so many other. Of course, we have the local Weto Bridge that was still being funded from proceeds from the, of the shop here. And we have the Second Ninja Bridge, which also benefited immensely from the shop here. The unskilled workers learn from experience and practice and become employable even when they lose their present jobs will improve because we've learned a lot. I've been working with the Federal Ministry for two and a half years now, and I've really learned a lot. The, 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 the Federal Ministry is different from the construction company. So with the experience we are gaining, some of our contemporaries, we can be able to you know, educate them on how to become a better engineer. And then the unskilled people learn from the educated ones. They are not engineers, but they can be foremen. And then from there, they can equally have job opportunities and also, you know, since we have uh, unemployment issues in the country, so it also helps in the employment sector. But since I joined this company, they are feeling fine with my wife because we are taking some, some, some things that we are not used to take before. We are taking it now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we got some things. So.